and this is our bucket elevator. Over here, the white, the white part, we normally set a magnetic separator over here to separate the uh, metal items because once there is something like hard, it is mixing inside by accident, it will totally damage about the later equipment. So over here, we just set a magnetic separator. And then this one, it is our grinding machine. Uh, hold a second, let me show you it more clearly. Check about it. The size of the mesh, it is not the same. The left part, the size, it is like a kind of small. So all of the small, uh, like the nuts will out of here. Like for this equipment, the main purpose is to separate all of nuts into two parts. So for the next uh, cracker, we can easily crack all of the nuts. So because the big nuts cannot go through for the left side, uh, left, left part, it will out of the equipment at the right part. So smaller part, it is at the left and bigger nuts, it is uh, out of the equipment at the right part. And then it is our cracker to crack uh, like all of nuts get into shells and the kernels. It is the, like the grinding machine, it is for the better cracker. And then we will get the mixture for the shells and the kernels. Uh, and then it is our bucket elevator again. And then all of the shells and the kernels will get into the uh, separating column here. Because the weight and uh, it is different. I mean, the nuts, it is, uh, I mean, the kernels, it is much heavier than the shells. So the kernels will automatically drop to the bottom to the kernels outlet. And all of the shells will collect it by the cyclone, which we set at the right part. And the blue, it is our fine. This is a uh, cyclone and fine's combination to, uh, to avoid the, uh, like the shells flying around in the workshop. So cyclone and our fine. And this is our separating column. And uh, at the bottom, it is our kernels outlet. And behind, can you guys notice that? Behind, that is the shells outlet. And then it is our crusher to crush all of the kernels get into like three slices or uh, four slices so that for the later part, we can easily control the temperature and control the humidity for the, uh, for the kernels. And then this one it is our cooker. We, or we can just like call it like, uh, like a roaster. This is the inlet and also this is outlet because inside of it there is uh, there is like a helix design when all of the palm kernels will get into this cooker get into the roaster it will keep rotates uh, uh, with the shape with the like the helix shape or like wave shape and when you are done with the cook you can easily change the uh, rotate direction so just like this check about it all of the kernels will out of it immediately so uh, you can save in like the labor cost again Yeah, this is the inlet and also this is outlet. Really convenient one. And we do have different capacities. And then bucket elevator again. And a hopper. And then it is our palm oil presser. Yeah, the oil, the crude oil rate is really high. Welcome to the live stream, everyone. This is Oliver from Holland Dream Holdings. And for today's live stream, we will introduce you guys the palm oil printing line, palm kernel oil printing line, and the refinery plant. Uh, we started to do the oil and fats business since 2011. So basically, so far, we got more than 13 years experience to do the oil and fats. But our engineers team, they started to do the business like uh, more than 20 years. Like basically, their whole life is doing the oil and fats business. Uh, yeah, if you want to know more detailed information, add the WhatsApp number. And uh, yeah, we will send you the 3D videos or if you do need anything related to this one, we can have a better consultant by using the WhatsApp or by using the line, uh, it, it, it is all can do here. So this is what we do for the palm kernel oil. And hold a second, let me show you the uh, separation, separator, right? This is our, like the fiber, separa fiber separator. Uh, I mean, this video, it is shoot a long time ago. We do have a new version one, but I cannot find it on this uh, laptop. And uh, can you guys check about over here behind of me? This is the kernel, pure kernels. And over here, the right part, it is all about the fibers. 